Um, so I'm just in my sweatshirt right now. It's a is it Saturday? Um, it's my Davis sweatshirt. Yes, I did go to UC Davis. Um, it's Saturday evening, and I'm just hanging out. And let's be completely honest. I did my makeup <laughs> to shoot the video. <laughs> I was hanging out all day without makeup on at all. I was watching YouTube videos, and then I was kind of inspired to do or motivated to do my video. So I jazzed up and. Now I'm making the video. So um, I'm going to be reviewing the... Wait, before I get started, I want to show you my new pillow. I got this pillow yesterday at Ross. It's mint green. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, it's by Throw. It's reversible, so it has this like cheetah print on the other side but this is the side I prefer it was $10.99 it's actually like a feather pillow which I don't know it's not important to me but I just like this <laughs> okay now let's get started today I'm going to be reviewing the Physicians Formula um, concealer it's a youth, youthful wear concealer um, I went to Target and this is the only one left. So um, currently, so this is obviously for under eye because it comes with a roller ball. Um, currently, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind with uh, for brightening, kind of like not right under my eyes, but kind of below. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's almost like screaming outside. So like in this area, there's a lot of colleges, so people on the weekends, it, get, it can get a tiny bit loud, but it just sounds like a frat boy like screaming outside, but I won't judge. <laughs> Who knows, that could be me, right? <clears throat> One crazy day. So okay, back to the video. So I used this, the HB1 as the concealer, and um, for brightening, I used the Magic Lumi by L'Oreal. So I don't use this like right under my eyes, but kind of below it. So I'm gonna be comparing kind of these. Let me so let me swatch these for you. I really like putting this on because of the roller ball. It's like cooling, and my eyes feel good. I like it. I don't actually put a lot of concealer under my eye. Um, but I'm sure sometimes I do need it. But uh, here's the yellow. I don't know if because my skin's yellow toned um, has. A lot of yellow in it so I don't know if that's why but this yellow tones kind of clears the red and if I feel like it really makes my eyes brighter and here's the light you can see it's actually not very light this is not light at all so let me compare, let's twist this up. You know, I don't know if anyone's ha had this problem, but I bought this and it wasn't working. And now it's not working again, like the twist up part. Oh jeez. Go. So here's the Maybelline. It's slightly pinky tone. And here's the L'Oreal Lumi. So here's all four products. I hope you can see it. I'm using like a different camera and I can't see myself. So, which is probably not a good idea, but let's see how this works out. I really like this product. I use it kind of like under my eyebrows, down my nose, um, on my cheekbones right here, and kind of like this whole area. And then I use it on my cupid's bow. Oops, I got lipstick on it. Just poking myself in the face. Um, yeah, and my cupid's bow. And I feel like this really like is a really good natural highlighter and it also conceals so it's a bonus. So I like that and I've been using this for a while. <clears throat> Besides the packaging malfunction, I've actually been really enjoying this. 
So let's see how these two products that I really like compares with this. Um, so here I'm going to be inserting a application. Before I just really want to I want to warn you that you're going to be seeing a really close up of my face. <laughs> so um, here we go. So first I'm going to be applying the yellow portion of the Youthful Wear Concealer and then I'm going to be blending it out with my um, angled, flat angled brush from Costco. I'm going to pat it with my fingers and here's the comparison of two sides. Then I'm going to be going in with the light portion and then blending, blending that out as well. And here you can see a comparison of both sides. Um, on the other eye I'm going to be going under with the Age Rewind Concealer. Um, I'm going to bl be blending it out with the same brush. Um, so you can see a comparison. Then I'm going to apply one more layer, blending out again. Okay, now I'm going to apply one more layer. Here we go, it's to make it kind of like balanced because I applied two layers on the other side. And now you can see a comparison of both sides. I really do like this. Um, it helps cool with the roller ball and it has two colors. Um, I wish this light color was slightly brighter, but other than that, I have no complaints. I feel like it covers, covers and brightens my eyes a little bit more than using this by itself. But this has, this is, this cannot replace this. I would still need this. So um, I don't know. I mean, it's good because when you travel, you have two colors for what you need. I don't know what it is about the Age Rewind, I just, besides the packaging fail, uh, I don't know, I just really like it. I don't know if it's the foam and feels so soft, but I, I don't know if it's because I'm attached to this because I had it for so long, but I do really like this. Uh, I'll be continuing to use it. Wow, a siren. I don't know if we live close to a hospital and it's like ambulances making the siren but I kind of feel like I always hear sirens and I live in a really good area or really like the nicer area, nicer part of LA County let's just say. So I would recommend this if uh, you really like the rollerball method. So I would say both of them, I mean it's just the application that's different. I just really hate that this packaging keeps breaking on me. I'm going to continue to use this and uh, I let's see if it becomes a staple in uh, my makeup because this one definitely has. <laughs> so one thing that I would like to know is, you know, this one comes with 0.3 ounces total and this one comes with 0.2 ounces total. So I guess if you, I, for me, I use this pretty evenly so I don't even know what the price of these are because I bought them a while back. So so now I'm going to end my video. So have a great this have a great memorial weekend and oh gosh, they're shouting again. I don't I really don't know if you could hear it or not, but there's a guy going woo outside. <laughs> have a good memorial weekend and I'll stop babbling on. Um, thank you for watching my video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and Comment below if you have any questions. Uh, so, bye! Minky, you wanna say hi? Here's Minky. Say hi, Minky. Hi. Oh, give me a kiss. She wasn't feeling good. But why am I telling you this? Okay. You okay? Now I'm just mumbling on and I really don't know what I'm saying.